Disgraced former Steinhoff CEO Marcus Yoste has maintained his innocence throughout one of the biggest financial scandals. This despite admitting penning a message to his colleagues regretting some of the decisions as the CEO that have caused immense pain to innocent people. He believed that the collapse in the Steinhoff share price could have been avoided if the board allowed him to fire Deloitte and replace it with a new auditing company that was willing to sign off the financial results. Till his death, he also blamed Austrian businessman Andris Seifert for causing all the troubles. Seifert entered a business partnership with Steinhoff in 2007 and he was instrumental in exposing some irregularities to the German tax authorities. Economists have called on the PwC report that was completed five years ago regarding activities at Steinhoff to be released for public scrutiny. The PwC investigation found that Steinhoff had overstated profits over several years, amounting to 5.6 billion pounds over a period of 2009 and 2017. We still don't know exactly what happened at Steinhoff. There was a very expensive PwC report into Steinhoff. It ran into something like 3,000 pages, and therefore it is now time for the PwC report to be published so that we can get more insight into what exactly happened at Steinhoff and exactly where corporate governance went wrong in Stein. The Black Business Council says that the law enforcement agencies moved very slowly to deal with the Steinhoff matter since 2017. The PwC report should be utilized to ensure that this kind of saga where pensioners lost their heart and cash does not happen again. The country and maybe in Germany will never get to the bottom of this corruption matter and uh, corruption scandal, scandal that we, we, we have. Uh, and there's no prospects that the, the pension fund money that we were lost will, will be recovered. Uh, but, but also the way the matter was handled uh, from 2017 uh, when it happened, it, it also still perpetuates uh, the suspicion that uh, when you have money, when you are rich and powerful, and when you are a certain skin color, skin color the, the law enforcement agencies, they, they treat you uh, very, very carefully with uh, kids' lives and also the, the process to make you to account, it, it moves very, 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 very slowly. Because if you contrast this uh, with BPS, and, and I, I've got no interest in BPS, I'm not condoning what happened in VPS. But the, the story of VPS happened in 2018. Uh, Steinhoff scandal happened in 2017. But the, uh, from a South African point of view, there have not been people from Steinhoff who were held accountable. The former Steinhoff legal head, Stefan Hrobler, appeared in the Pretoria Specialized Commercial Crimes Court today in connection with the Steinhoff saga. The FSCA says it is legally entitled to recover the penalty imposed on Yoste from his estate and that it is continuing with other investigations into similar contraventions. Naledi Matlapeng, SABC News, Johannesburg.